Hey guys, today we are going to talk about one of the most common misplays. Depending on intent, this could also be one of the most common cheats that you will see at FNM or at higher levels like GP Toronto. So you play a land to start your turn and that counts for land one. You take your turn, you attack, you put counters on, you finish your turn, and right before you finish, your last action is to play a land. Now, if you played lands consecutively, it would be pretty obvious to your opponent that you played two lands. Now, if you play a land to start the turn, and you play a land right now to end the turn, it is a lot more difficult to catch. It's actually one of the more most difficult cheats slash misplays to catch given the fact that hard to notice, uh, hard to remember, did you hit every land drop? Did your opponent hit every land drop? And in the case of Alex Bracini, who is the best cheater in Magic the Gathering, uh, still allowed to play Magic, not banned, unbanned. He plays cards like Explore, which also make the math harder. Two Explorers is his most famous statement while he was ahead on land by free land. Now why do you want to play extra land? It should be pretty obvious. In this case, you can actually type tap the Dryad Arbor to sacrifice the land to draw yourself a card, which you would probably want since you want to go aggro. This is quite fascinating where Reddit will destroy some people and then they will clap and give Reddit upvotes to other people. Uh, this is a Redditor on the right. Uh, he admits that he made a mistake and he apologizes for it and says that he did not intend it. And that is why this cheat is so, or this misplay is so difficult to really go against. There's two scenarios that you could, that you could say. Hey, this is my first time. I'm really tired, so I did sloppy play. What is your opponent going to? What are you going to say to your opponent who says that? You're probably going to be like, "Okay, just take it back." Especially at F and M or at a more casual atmosphere. The other excuse would be that you just misplayed. So it wasn't sloppy play. It wasn't cheating. You just you didn't intend to play the double land. Now. Sometimes I do realize we forget. Uh, we being on camera must be very difficult nowadays, given that everything is scrutinized. And even something like this, which seems very natural. I mean, land one, okay, Galvany Township. We're gonna activate the Galvany Township, keeping a arbor. And the arbor is important because it can tap to sacrifice the land to draw a card. We're good, here comes the attack, no blocks, we're good. And before my turn ends, I'm gonna play another land right here. Now, yeah, people get nervous, people get uh, sweaty palms. And the issue here for me is how often does it happen? Now, if it happens once in a while, maybe they're just a very sloppy player and maybe you should encourage them to play better. If it happens all the time during important events, probably a cheater. If it only happened once that you know of, and this is a local with a good reputation, probably a misplay. So how we define a action, like playing two lands a turn, is determined by reputation, it's determined by if you're local, maybe it's determined by what, if it matters even. Sometimes people play extra land and it's clear that they're either mana flooded and doesn't really matter or something is not, it doesn't affect the game. Here, it clearly does affect the game because that is a land you want. You want two lands. You want the township to give the plus one, plus one. You want to have one untapped and then you want to have this other card because you want to sacrifice this land to draw another card. So I find it fascinating how easy it is to get away with cheating um, because you can always say, oh, my bad, misplay, take it back, take it back. And at these higher events, there's cameras everywhere, but at lower level events, I guarantee you the same cheat happens all the time. 
the start your turn play land, end your turn play land. And I would say it probably people get away with it very often. That's why the cheat is such a masterful cheat. Uh, very difficult to call someone out on it, very difficult to determine intent, and just impossible to really enforce in any meaningful way. Anyway, double lands. Bye, guys.